出国那个什么就有农村希望。U MLA ke soal rakan konstituensi, u bak Gavin Merliem ulah kentui ke soal kar, bahkan ai ke jengi rap iki kon kikti. Bagi aku kurem hadian bau kepa ke jeng u bak running nong kendri. Naga senong jalan teng ulah syaksiat diap hagi supaya BSF kebidang apa hara motion kebelajar hak kemir jeng ke santri u jemang arhajar arpulai. U bak Gavin ulangan rai kani ke jengker part ayam dorba dengan zero hour notice marshukut ke kenta ke li jengker li. U Menteri Kampok yang kesorka jela ubah pres tonton song loong ba kani ke jingja syaksiat ubah roning kadang yaad ke jing tokin namar ki sipai BSF ru kila ai da ke ejahar persyai ubah roning da ke bakenok ba ulap head haba kila pensangnya badeh kani ke por kila syaksiat ya u namar ke jing em jongki kadan ha ke jing mah Thank you Mr. Speaker Sir for allowing me to raise the zero on notice under the Rule 49A of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, with regard to the news item published in the Shillong Times dated 7 May 2023 under the caption, BSF Troops Allegedly Gunned Down Trucker. Say it so happened that on the night of 6 May 2023, Sri Running Nongkanri a 34-year-old trucker who was a resident of Jalanteng village was travelling along the Ponesla Doki Road along with his cousin brother by the name of Sri Dibalskem Nongkari. Credible sources indicate that the truck driver was intended to enter the bylane along the Ponesla Doki Road when suddenly, without rhyme or reason, and without any warning whatsoever, one BSF personnel who was stationed at a check post at Motion Village opened fire at a very close range, which hit Sri Running Nongkari on his head, which ultimately resulted in, in, in his instantaneous death. Of course, we are now aware that the case has been registered at the Ponesla police station and that further investigation was conducted. I believe that the law will take its own course and that the guilty will be prosecuted as per the law of the land and that justice will prevail as far as the unjustified killing of Sri running Nongkari is concerned. My concern here, however, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that the family of Sri Running Nongkari is unfortunately not getting the human consideration which it should be getting. The disease has a family of its young wife and two young children, one age around four years old, another age around three months old, and they also belong to an extremely poor family and there's no other breadwinner for the family presently. I was very pained to see the circumstances in which the family is now surviving. And the sad fact is that even now, four months have passed, no relief whatsoever have been extended by the border security force. Neither the BSF nor the government of India has sanctioned any kind of relief to the family. I would therefore strongly urge the state government through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, to kindly take up this matter in the strongest possible manner with the government of India so that justice is done within a fixed time, maybe a month or so, and whatever relief is sanctioned is done accordingly to the norms. I am sure that such cases in the BSF and the prison cases will exist, which will enable the government of India to act on the basis of laid down norms with due sense of urgency in this matter. However, I would also like to take this opportunity that given the unusual circumstances of the case, I would strongly request the state government to either even consider sanctioning 
ex Grisha assistance from its side. Of course, it's justified perhaps for the state government to take a stand. That's only the central government which should act in this case in view of the circumstances. But I would like to urge for a compassionate view or sympathetic view to be taken by the government so that justice is done to this poor family which deserves all the help that it can get. A small gesture made by the state government would go a long way towards the well-being of this grief-stricken family. So with these few submissions, sir, I resume my seat, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you. At the outset, I take this opportunity to thank the Honourable Member of this other house, C. Kevin McElmillian, MLA of Sara Agrosasi, for tabling this zero-hour notice under Rule 49A of the Rules of Procedure of Conduct of Business on the news item which appeared in the newspaper, the Shillong Times dated 7 May 23, under the caption, BSF troops allegedly gunned down trucker. Sir, on the 5th, 5th May 2023, at around 10.24 p.m., an incident occurred in which late running knockery of Jalan Teng driver, driver of truck bearing registration number ML05F3885 was fired upon by BSF personnel at Maosun village near petrol pump NH43, Shillong Daki Road, Nusla. Sir, due to the firing incident, the driver succumbed to his injuries and died on the spot. In connection with the firing incident, FIR was lodged by the relative of the deceased, Sri Rivers Ken Nongkanri of Jalanteng against an unknown BSF personnel at Nusla police station. Sir, as per the report filed by the complainant, it was intimated that the complainant and his cousin brother, the deceased person, were proceeding from Umthli village to transport buffaloes to their owner's shed and on reaching near Maushun village, the deceased person took a right turn in order to unload the buffaloes. However, during that time, a mini truck of BSF was also following them from behind and suddenly without any warning, the BSF personnel rushed towards the complainant and the victim and started firing as a result of which the victim collapsed. Sir, a criminal case by Penusla Police Station case number 112 uh, in bracket 5, 2023 under section 120B slash 201 slash 302 Indian Penal Code read with section 27 1 of arms act 1959 has been registered and is being investigated in two however no one was arrested in connection with the instant case sir it is also informed that a counter for, uh, first information report has also been filed against the deceased driver that is late running knockery to the effect that on the night of 5th may 2023 mobile check post party of G Company 4th Battalion Border Security Force deployed for duty at Manusla Dauki Road near Wakadai village had cautioned the driver to stop for checking. Instead of stopping, the driver tried to escape by hitting and running over the BSF personnel on duty. The personnel on duty sensing danger had fired two rounds in the air at an interval, but the driver did not stop and tried to hit the personnel on duty. Seeing imminent threat to his life, the personnel again fired round towards the tire of the truck with in an intention to stop the vehicle, but the driver turned his vehicle towards left and collided with the divider. Sir, in connection with the first information report filed by officials of PSF, a case by Penusla PS case number 13, 5 in bracket 2023, under section 307 slash 34 slash 353, IPC has been registered and the investigation is in progress. Sir, the investigation of both the cases are ensuing and the police officials are putting in sincere efforts to ascertain the facts and circumstances of both the cases. Sir, it may be pointed out that the cunning down of the victim had sparked the ear of the local populace and law and order situation had arisen. Sir, in view of the tense situation in the area, security has been tightened and Megala police is keeping a close watch of the situation. 
Mr. Speaker, sir, as of now, the situation is normal in the area. Sir, I once again take this opportunity to thank the honourable member of this August House, Sri Kevin Malim, MLA of Sora Constituency, for tabling this zero notice under Rule 49A of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business to discuss on matter pertaining to the incident which occurred in Punusla on 5th May 2023, sir. Thank you. <clears throat>